Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan. Yo. Halloween just ended. Yes. It's kind of sad, but we must move on. That's right. On What's, to the next. On to the next holiday. <laughs> What's the next one? Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. Man, just looking forward to that like nothing else. Oh, I yeah. just can't believe it. <laughs> Pat Benatar. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Colin Mockery, you beautiful man. Her name is actually Patricia May Andreevsky. Mm. Hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> she was born in Brooklyn, New York. She had vocal training, but before she was an artist, she worked as a bank teller near Richmond, Virginia. Mm. Looking at you, Ty. <laughs> she quit and eventually got a job as a singing waitress at a nightclub called the Roaring Twenties. She was married to her high school sweetheart, but they got divorced, and she decided to keep his surname. His last name was Benatar. She was in a movie called Union City, and she's also made numerous television appearances. She wrote a best-selling memoir. Uh, she's been on like a million tours. And she has been with her second husband, Neil Gerardo, since 1982. And he has also been her musical partner since 1979. Wow. He is the lead guitarist of the band and has performed on all of Benatar's albums. Think about that, man. <laughs> How often do you hear that in music? A yeah. husband and a wife going for that long? Yeah, that's crazy. How did you not get tired of each other? <laughs> she hasn't made an album since 2003, but she has toured extensively and made some new music here and there. <clears throat> Two multi-platinum albums, five platinum albums, and 15 U.S. Billboard Top 40 singles. Four-time Grammy Award winner, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, sold over 36 million albums. What a resume. Uh, so the song we're doing today is called Heartbreaker. And we've actually had this song title on the channel before by Led Zeppelin. Here's another heartbreaker for you. <laughs> uh, I've definitely heard this song. Uh, you will wait and see. Uh, it was written by songwriters Jeff Gill and Clint Wade. The song had first been recorded by English singer Jenny Darren on her 1978 album, Queen of Fools. It's been featured in the music games, Rock Band, and Guitar Hero. Uh, it's been in a few movies, but the most popular usage uh, is actually in TV, such as Charm, Supernatural, and King of the Hill. Dolly Parton covered this on her 2023 album, Rockstar. Uh, this version, though, is from the debut album, In the Heat of the Night, released in 1979. It's the first ever track, Ryan, that's kind of a staple on this channel. Yeah. Like, this is her first ever... First ever song. Here you go. Okay. Right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, and this album went platinum. So, let's do it. Pat Benatar, Heartbreaker.
Don't you mess around with me, you're a heartbreaker Exclamation point right there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think, Ryan? Uh, okay, so I have heard the chorus. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the only thing I've ever heard, though. Yep. Um, I think it's a really good song. Yeah, it is. Her voice <laughs> is too nice. Yeah. It has that, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? It's like that hard-nosed girl, like um, like I can do anything. If if anything if anything means possible mm-hmm. type of girl like a like a Kim Possible you know oh yeah wow. you know, yeah that kind of girl wow. you know what I'm saying yeah it has, she has that voice of like I'm ready to take on anybody you know yeah so it's like uh, I'm ready to fight any kind of anything that gets in my way anything trying to hold me back it doesn't matter I'm me and I can get past anything so she has that kind of voice which I always uh always love that kind of voice whenever uh, a woman can have it because it, it's also like um. The opposite from what most women do, they try to like sing all high and high pitched. It's more of like a, I think it's more harder to do this voice because it's like a uh, more monotone kind of. It's not like, you know, straight monotone, but it's like she's still singing, but it's not like going crazy. Like the one part she goes, you know, mid range. Yeah, mid range. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's kind of harder to do to do that than sing higher because I mean, you higher just going high for no, you know, just for for the reason, but to stay in a certain like area. You know, I think it's a little bit harder. Um, so I like that aspect of it. Um, I really like the flow. Uh, I think the the guitars were were great. Uh, I think the I think everything was solid. You know, it wasn't nothing spectacular or anything. I don't think the like you know I I liked everything, but nothing was like wow. I think it was more about her than it was the song. You okay. know, so I think she really the performance was really what overtook for me. This kind of feels like an effortless song to me, just in all. Like areas. she didn't even try. The. The entire thing just feels so effortless. Right. You know, like it, it it rocks out like so, so hard. But at the same time, it was like, huh, that was just, it was kind of a breeze. Yeah. I don't know. That's just kind of what it feels like to me. Um, but yeah, I love how she kind of floats around that mid range a lot in this song. But mm-hmm. she also gives you the high pitch, like uh, almost operatic, really. I mean, it really does like come out of you like, oh. <laughs> okay she can go there too yeah yeah hey get you a woman that can do both you yeah know? that's right and but it also has that punk attitude like joan mm-hmm. jet yeah so that's that that's what kind of appeals to everybody i think like uh you have the nice vocal here obviously but it also rocks out so like this yeah. is a song that dudes love. like it correct me if i'm wrong but this could be like a like a biker type of song do you kind of get that vibe? I yeah. feel like you it could be played in that setting. Yeah. But yeah, the progression's good in this song. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's just like, but like you hardly notice it. It's just like, oh yeah, that was the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. And then you have that outro solo uh, by Neil there. Uh, it's really good. Well, I can see why he stuck, yeah. she had him stick around the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Besides, uh, you know. Them being together. Oh yeah, he's not. He's not. He's not no scrub or anything like that. Yeah, you you got this man messed up. No, this ain't no scrub. Uh, well, I mean, you was like, yeah. you know, that doesn't happen often that they stay together. Well, I can see why. I mean, that man can play. Yeah, she's like, you're a great husband, but my God, you're a fantastic guitar player. <laughs> but he just rips it in this song. But yeah, it just it just feels like oh, there it goes. There may be nothing in here that blows you away, but it's like everything is just like. It's like an A. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Solid A. It's like you passed the test with flying colors. <laughs> what a debut for her. I'm sure that really caught people's attention. 
back then. So uh, let us know what you thought about that song. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Stay subscribed and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.